gruesome night this has turned out to be. First, our arch enemy charity has come back to harmony. And now this. You know, if Sheraton figures out that our bowl is magic, she could be the one to expose us as witches. <laughs> yes, your Aunt Sheridan. And this doesn't bode well for Fancy and Louise either. Because above all, Sheridan is a crane. And like all cranes, they hate to lose something or someone they love. Her heart might be breaking now. But it also might be hardening. And believe me, a crane with a hard heart is a ruthless creature indeed. Miss Hell, how goes the master plan? It's working. Casey and Miguel and Charity make it out. And She's devastated. God, what I've done. She's in agony. I'm going to tell the truth right now. There you are. So the guy the fortune teller told you to meet here never showed, huh? And now he showed Jared. Honey, that's incredible. You know, it's good for you. <laughs> you two are meant to be together. No, not exactly. Whitney, you see, um, Jared said that we have no future together and that he, he doesn't want to be with me. And it's too late. I had my chance with him and I blew it. I've lost Jared. I've lost Ethan. I guess I'm destined to spend the rest of my life alone. Honey, you feeling any better? No, honey, this flu is really bad. Maybe I should come home. Oh, honey, you don't have to do that. You know, I'm, there's nothing you can do. I mean, I'm taking stuff, and my, my mom's here. She's, she's taking care of me. Oh, I bet she's a great help. What's Nurse Rebecca doing? Is she making you brandy stingers? Excuse me, I have the flu. That is her remedy for a cold. You were nine. She tries, sweetheart. She tries. All right. Well, I'm glad she's there, if only to keep you company. No, actually, my mother's off with JT, trying to get herself involved in his blackmail scheme, which I hope doesn't blow up in her face, because JT is such a loose cannon. Leave me alone! Get away from here! I know your secrets and you can't stop me! There's more where that came from! Oh, oh dear. My heart's going pity path. Wait. What if there's more than one killer? Get ready for some cold steel! Rebecca! Oh, no! Oh! I nailed you! I mean... Oh, God, you know what I mean? You did! Now, see, you have a chance for a new, happy life with Jared. Come on, honey, don't let him go. Look, it's, it's not my choice. He doesn't want to be with me, Whitney. He can't trust me. But do you blame him? I mean, I went chasing after Ethan. At the same time, I tried to keep Jared on a string. It's, it's my fault. Well, I guess neither one of us is having a good night then. <sighs> what happened? Well, I talked to... You know, that fortune teller as well. I don't understand. Why did Fox have to hire her? You know, at least she could have gave out some good fortunes. That what would have been really nice. What did she say to you, Whitney? She warned me about Chad. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, stop. 
Chad adores you, Whitney. Everyone in this world knows that. Okay, you need to get these crazy suspicions out of your head once and for all. Okay, well, what about what Rebecca said at the Blue Note? She said that she saw Chad at that motel, stark naked in a room, waiting for someone. And then the fortune teller... The fortune teller. Said, let me remind you, she told me that I was going to see the man that I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with, and I was going to meet him tonight, right here on this wharf. Look around you, honey. Do you see him anywhere? No. And as far as Rebecca's concerned, you cannot believe one word out of that lying witch's mouth. Now, you got to be smart. I lost Jared and Ethan. Don't you lose Chad. Look, Gwen, I'll try not to wake you up when I get home, OK? I hope you feel better. Good night. Actually, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, put your mother on for a minute. You want to talk to my mother? Yeah. Actually, when I was a kid, Pilar used to make me this mustard plaster. It's a bit old-fashioned, but it's terrific for a cold or the flu. It clears your head right up. So put her on. I'll tell her how to make it. OK, that sounds so unappealing to me. Honey, hey, no arguments. Put your mom on. Oh, I can't believe it. He killed her. I killed my Becky. My Becky wecky -o. Oh, she was my first tutor in the art of love. And what a loss for mankind. She was a walking encyclopedia of sex. Someone should have taken down her oral history. Ooh, and how? Ooh, I'm gonna get stuck for murder. I gotta get rid of the body. Where can I rent a wood chipper at this time of night? But first, should I? Oh, no, 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 that's obscene. But it could be very lucrative. Just one good shot of her body before I throw her in a chipper could be worth a fortune. Every tabloid in the world would put it on his cover. No, 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 it's just not violent enough. It needs to scream world-famous murder victim. Maybe if I rearrange her. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, no, that's good, perfect. Oh, she looks awful. Classic corpse with a capital C. Yeah, OK. Now I just get my camera. Oh, wood chipper! What? You want to sell pictures of my corpse to a tabloid? What, you bastard! Sweetheart, you're alive! Yeah, don't sweetheart me! How dare you! Well, if it had been me, you would have sold my picture to the tabloid. Well, of course I would have, but I would have made sure you look good first. Listen, when I go, I am going to look like a princess. You got that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, the way you can make it up to me is by telling me who you're trying to blackmail. Well, I was almost killed here, all right? Somebody ran over me trying to get out of here. Did you see who it was? No. I mean, I'm all bloody and cut. Oh! That is just a taste of what you deserve. Gunfire? Oh, please, it is so déclassé. Well, I'm sorry. That person was out to attack me. I can't be too careful. Oh, this looks just like the letter you had on the wharf, the blackmail letter you were going to send. I want to see who you're mailing it to. Rebecca, I can't. Did he just tell me? Tell me who you're blackmailing. Hey, where you been, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Well, I could say the same thing about you, man. <laughs> Look, I've been running the marathon. Um... Fox, Fox. Don't be a fool. Oh, I can't do the same, my father. I'm torturing her. Now, you must remember that Kay was about to break your heart. She betrayed you with Miguel. And no son of mine is going to lose out in a competition with an ignorant fishmonger. You're right. Father, if I told her the truth, she would hate me. And the pain she's feeling right now, it's just punishment for what she's done to me. Okay, honey, snap out of it. It's me, remember? There's just so much you don't know. Well, then tell me. I mean, I've been your best friend since as long as I can remember. Now, can you please kindly tell me what's been going on? Mm. <sighs> all right, all right. So 
So it's all set. It's very fast, right? And recently, I realized that I can't because I love Miguel. And he loves me. Or so I thought. Oh. And then I went in to tell Fox that I was going to break up with him, and I heard him on the phone with his doctor. And he's sick. He's dying. Oh, wait, Fox is dying of what? I don't know. I don't know, but he only has a couple months to live. And so I couldn't tell him then that I wanted to break up with him because I would just break his heart. And then... And then oh, what? honey, no, he found out? No. It was Miguel. He promised me, he swore to me, that he was over charity. And somehow she showed up here tonight out of the blue. I don't know how she got here. And and he looked at her and he and he kissed her. And he told her that he loved her right in front of me. Just after he told me the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Men are pigs. Where are they going? It's not fair. You should be kissing me. Pandora, quickly. Make Luis and Fancy disappear or the jig is up. Where did the ice and oranges come from? <laughs> Sheraton, dear, what is so interesting about our punch bowl? Punch? Wait, wait a minute. You said this was water. Oh, surely you're mistaken. I must be losing my mind today. I swear, I, I've been seeing things ever since I came into this house. <laughs> what makes you say that? Because I was looking into this bowl, and I swear I saw Luis and Fancy in Fancy's car kissing. <laughs> well, my Black Lagoon punch does have quite a kick, but you shouldn't be seeing things, dear. My word, soon it'll be pink elephants. <laughs> I didn't have any. You know what? I, I am tired. <laughs> yeah, well... You do seem a little stressed out, dear, but then, uh, then it's understandable. I mean, we've just been talking about the loss of your, your unborn baby and, 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 and that sweet little chap, Marty. Uh, no wonder you're seeing things. It was so clear. Well, I'm no psychiatrist, but uh, it's not a big leap to connect losing Marty and losing Luis. I didn't lose Luis, all right? I chose Chris. Luis doesn't have anything to do with my life, not a damn thing. Observe, Endora. A healthy, mature mortal lies constantly. It's part of their nature. Luckily for us, they lie to themselves. You know... Luis is, is still deep in Sheridan's heart and mind. But you know what that means, don't you? She and Fancy and Luis are on the road to disaster. Let's go, Mara. No, I can't wait. I want you right here and now. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little Ethan wants new rollerblades from Santa. Oh no, it's your mother. Ooh, I'll explain. Are you crazy? Laura's like a second mother to me. It's too embarrassing. Well, it's too late. No! no. Do they come like in an adjustable size that way he can wear them for several years? Yeah, all the safety equipment too, but he's got a good helmet. Uh-huh. Grab your clothes, all right? Get out of here. Where? At the kitchen. You go out the back door. Fancy, where are you going? Go out my bedroom window, okay? Second door on the left. 
Let, let me get inside. Uh, it's freezing out here. Hold on, so I can write this down. Hold on. Marjorie, I'm gonna have to call you back. It seems I have another child to take care of at this moment, okay? Luis? Luis, despiértate. Uh, hello, Mama. What are you doing? Why are you not sleeping in your own room? Why are you in the living room? And why are your clothes all over the place? You know better than that. I needed a nap. Luis, somebody could have come by and seen you lounging around in your underwear. That's not the way I... Why aren't you a case shower, by the way? Well, I could ask you the same question. Well, I was on my way back. I mean, I just, I needed to come home and gather myself. That's all. Well, Christmas got you frazzled already? No, no. It's just, I ran into your father with that woman. Catherine. Yes. Now, come on, come on, come on. Pick up your clothes. Hi, right, Sybil. Sybil? No, civil is not the word. Tamara, let me tell you something, Luis. There's something I want to tell you, and I don't want you to ever forget it. The cranes are evil, mijo. All of them, absolutely evil. I'm so sorry to be such a downer. A bridal shower is supposed to be a time of celebration. <laughs> yes, yes. Is, is, is that your gift for, uh, for Kay and Fox? Uh, no, actually, that's for you, Tabitha. I... I was hoping that you might recognize it. Oh! Oh, how sweet of you, dear. Oh, I love surprises. It looks just like you, doesn't it? Come on, Glenn. Put your mother on. Honey, um, I can't. You know, she's with Jane. She's, she's actually, she's reading to her. She's reading? She's reading to Jane? What, what, a bartender's guide? Come on. You know my mother adores Jane. You can talk to her later. Okay, okay, but promise me you'll call me if you need anything, okay? Okay, I will. I love you. Bye. Oh, God, Mother, where are you? What are you up to now? <sighs> I cannot believe it, JT. I mean, after everything that you and I have been through, all you care about is making a quick buck by photographing my dead body? I I'm sorry. I, I was just trying to make the best of a tragic situation. All right. Well, maybe I'm overreacting. But can you blame me? I mean, when the only man I've ever really cared about, the, the one that I, I thought was so honest and, and trustworthy and sincere, I mean, he won't even tell me who, who he's blackmailing? I mean, is that, is that love? Is that trust? Uh, honey pie, uh... Mm. And... Honey pie, if you want me to go away with you, you're gonna have to tell me all your secrets. So who are you blackmailing? So where have you been? Actually, I was down at the wharf. I had a little talk with Tess. Yeah, <laughs> what about you? Well, I had a little um, disagreement with Whitney. I took a walk to clear my head. Huh. You know, they had a, a fortune teller here. She did a number on me and Tess. She gave us two halves to the same coin and rigged it so we'd meet at the wharf like we're fated to be together. Oh, yeah. oh, you don't mess around with that word fate, Teresa. I mean, she takes that stuff way too serious. Well, that's why I was here, to see if I could find this fortune teller and tell her off, you know. You should have seen Tess when I told her it was over. She was pretty torn apart. You told her that? Well, what else am I? I mean, yeah, I love the girl, but she's, she's completely obsessed with Ethan. And I'm not gonna play second fiddle to anyone. Yeah, I guess. Still, you know, it's kind of spooky. This fortune teller knew that I was cheating on Whitney. Yeah, I guess it's, it's pretty interesting. But either way, man, you gotta stop messing around. 
You're gonna lose Whitney. Just like I did Teresa. Teresa, you are in no position to give advice. Now, what about you? You and Jared are meant to be together. And you're just gonna sit here and let him go without a fight. Well, what choice do I have, Whitney? You know, what, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you one thing though. I I I do not believe in fortune tellers anymore. I don't believe in astrology. I don't believe in fate or any of that stuff. Okay, that fortune teller she was wrong about me and Jared, and she was wrong about you and Chad. Jared and I are history, but you and Chad have a chance to make a real life together. Don't lose that, okay? No matter what. Well, if Miguel is the man you want. Then you have to go after him. You have to go in there and talk to the man. I can't talk to him now. <sighs> Hello, countdown to wedding in progress. Okay, you have gotta find out what's really going on here. Are you sure? Yes, don't you wanna know the truth? I already know it. <sighs> okay, come on, let's go. You're right, Father. Revenge is sweet. And now Kay will be all, all mine. This Passions Holiday Tip is presented by NBC and GLAAD. Over the years, I have overseen many Crane family holiday parties. And one thing's for sure, they always make a mess. So I make sure to use strong trash bags that stretch around bulky items so I don't have to worry about rips and tears. That makes my cleanup faster and easier. And it's one less mess the cranes will have to deal with. Watch Passions every weekday on NBC. ...of your ancestor be doing up at the mansion. And, and look at the bottom of the portrait, how it just drops off at the bottom of the frame. This was a bigger portrait once. I, I wonder why the bottom half was torn off. Aye, tis done by the dark book. With the fresh blood of man under a sickle moon. Come, arise, ye Spirits, ye servants, ye demons, come give black life to my words of anger, pain and sorrow, curse the crane heart for all eternity. Do you know anything about this painting? Mama. Mama, come on. This doesn't sound like you. I hate to hear such bitter words coming out of your mouth. Oh, no. I couldn't get through Louisa's storm windows, and now Pilar's going to see me. She is no fool. She'll know exactly what's going on. Maybe they'll leave the room and I can sneak out the front door. You work your whole life. You believe in what's good, what's right, and then somebody like Catherine Crane comes along and just ruins everything. That family, I'm telling you, they destroy everything in their path. Look what they've done to your life, Luis. You and Sheridan had nothing but grief, and because of them, my son Antonio is dead. Mama, that was because of Alistair, okay? All Alistair, Alistair is dead now, No, okay? no, 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 mijo. Please, I don't care. I'm telling you, that family is cursed, and when we get involved with them, we're cursed as well. Mama, Sheridan, she wasn't a bad person, all right? And it's fancy, she's great. And, uh, well, from what I know of Fox, he isn't that bad. I don't care, Mimi. I really, I just, I know that I am right. Look, some of them may pretend they're good people, but eventually, their true nature comes out. They're cursed. Now, you promise me one thing, please. Te lo suplico, mijo. Your relationship with Sheridan is over, and you barely know Fancy, so just promise me that you will never get involved with the crane again. Fred, 
Peter, where did Charity and Miguel go? I guess we just follow the clothes. Damn them. God, Miguel, what are you doing to me? Wait for this. You know what's at the end of this trail of clothes? The end of Kay and Miguel. Why would Teresa waste herself on someone like Jared? Tonight I'm going to figure out who the hell that guy really is. If he is a threat, he's going to pay. Look at us. Two women out on the town. No man in sight. What do you say we hit the ice cream shop? You know, I'd like to drown myself in chocolate fudge swirl. You know what? I happen to have a better idea. Why don't you go find Jared and tell him you still want him in your life? I can't do that, Whitney. Okay, he resigned from Crane. He's leaving Harmony. But he's not gone yet. Go talk to him. Tell him whatever you need to say to him to get him to stay. Come on, you deserve a chance to have a nice life with someone like Jared. The ship has sailed, Whitney. You're the one who's got to be happy for us. Teresa, please. No, I'm serious. All right, go, go talk to Chad. Do you, do you see this beautiful ring on your finger? Look, he would not have given this to you if he didn't love you. You need to call him, track him down, find him, and tell him that you want to get married right now, okay? Let's have a wedding in this town when someone actually gets married. Anyway, I'm gonna go. But please, just think about what I'm saying, okay? Whitney. Jared is leaving Harmony. There's nothing I can do to change that. No matter how much I want to. You got a great woman, man. Don't screw that up. Look, man, I wish I could stop my um, extracurricular activities, but I just can't. Yeah, don't be an idiot. Look, don't you think I've called myself that already? <laughs> God, Jared, you, you know, I, I think I'm actually addicted to sex. <laughs> I know that programs for that. <laughs> I got my own program. Hey, the things I have to do. But I do love Whitney, and no matter what happens, I, I just can't imagine life without her. Here you go. Oh. So. Oh. Sweet pea. You know, now that we're going away together, I want every single day to be a red letter day. Oh. But you know how I hate secrets. You do? Oh, Titi, I do. And Father Lonigan says that secrets are very, very bad. I think there's even a commandment about them. There is? Mm -hmm. So, now that we're going away... Oh, okay. All right, all right. If you want to know who I've been blackmailing, open the envelope. Ah! Oh, goody, 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 goody. So, have you ever seen this painting? No, dear. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping you could tell me something about it. <laughs> well, I'd like to keep it, though. Hmm. Of course. Yeah. So, what's going on with the bridal shower? Nothing much seems to be happening. I wouldn't bet on that. You know what? If you could give Kay my best, I'm a little beat, you know, all this talk of Marty and the baby. And Louise. Yes, and Louise. It's, it's wearing on me. If you wouldn't mind saying my goodbyes. Certainly, dear. And uh, thank you for my portrait, I mean, my, the, uh, <laughs> the painting. <laughs> of course. Well, good night, then.
Night, darling. Poor girl. You know, ever since you were born, I... I can't bear to see a mother grieving for her children. And now she's grieving over the loss of Louise. My heart should be filled with guilt. <laughs> so it's a good thing I don't have a heart, isn't it, Nespa? <laughs> what did you say? Absolutely not. The Crane's earned my curse. And I do feel sorry for Sheridan, but she will have to take her lumps and bumps with the rest of them. The sins of the fathers, Endora. That's how it is. And my curse is surefire. That's what you think. Please listen to me. Never have anything more to do with the Cranes. Promise me that you're done with that whole family. Mama, you sound like some Old Testament prophet, you know? I don't care, Luis. I know that I'm right. Just swear to me, please. Swear to me that you're done with the Cranes. All right. Fine, OK? If it means that much to you, I promise you that I will not have anything to do with the cranes ever again. Okay? Okay. Oh, Louise. How could you? There's a man's sock. Oh, God, there's Charity's shoe. Yeah, wait, hold. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, no, you're right. I'm going to talk to him. Tell Miguel how I feel, and maybe, maybe I can salvage our relationship. Thank you, Amy. Thank you for promising not to have anything more to do with the cranes. I have got to get out of here. How could I be so stupid? How could I be so wrong about Luis? What on earth is going on? Did you hear that? Hmm? Oh, shit, fancy. What? Not now, Mama. Not now. Fancy? Fancy! Fancy, wait! You don't understand! What happened here? Again, Fancy. I'm such a fool. Ah, I've got to find out who you're blackmailing. Ah, ah, what? What? Ah! Gigi, this is your electric bill. Oh. <laughs> no, no, uh, 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 you know I don't react well to pain. Oh. JT, you are such a tease. I gotta find out. Oh. I gotta find that thumb drive. That'll tell me who it is. Oh, good luck, Bex. You're not gonna find it. It's someplace safe. You're not gonna find it, and you're not gonna figure out who I'm blackmailing. Ethan, hey, what are you doing up here, Chad? Uh, I needed to pick up some documents, actually. This time of night? Yeah. Whatever. I got my own stuff to take care of, but I will see you later. Okay. God, Ethan, you're lying already. Chad and Jared are friends. You can't tell them that you're going to Jared's office to find the truth. And I know one thing, that guy is up to something. So, what? What, are you gonna follow my advice? Nope. You gonna follow mine? 
No. Mm, okay. Business as usual, then. Perfect. <laughs> Love you. Mm. Mm. I just want you to be happy, you know? I want you to be happy, too. So you get home to Chad and hold on tight. I think I'm gonna give up men altogether. Because every time I get involved with one, it just ends in disaster. Whitney. No. Jared. We have a lot to talk about. Oh, but didn't I hear enough from you already? Oh, forget all that. And to hell with my pride. I can't live without you. What? I can't imagine a life without you in it. You told me that you were over Luis. Now, if that's so, then why are you spying on him? I'm calling Crane Security and the police. You and my friend are about to be arrested. You're the only woman in my heart. I love you. Thursday, the gift of four...